Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a little unboxing for you of like a mismatch, mishmash, mishmash of stuff that is diamond painting related. So I know that these two are definitely diamond painting. This I believe is a gift from my mom. <laughs> She's very good about remembering me and sending me little things. So we'll open that one last. But these two I definitely remember ordering. So we're going to get into them first. I hope that everybody's doing well. Um, it's been it's been an interesting few weeks to say the least here in the Ray household. Let's see. So first up, ooh, this I believe is a yes. This is a diamond painting tray. Check this out. Do I have a thingy? I do. So this is from 3D Art R and L. They are in France, and I purchased this through Etsy. Um, because I'm in Ireland, I have to get very creative with who I purchase from. So I have purchased from this company before. They sent me a metallic washi tape, which is really pretty actually. And then I ordered two things. I ordered this, which is a little, uh, how do I explain this? You know, on your light pad, right? Well, my light pad turns on by itself a lot so I decided to get one of these kind of buffer things uh it will I'll, I'll show you I'll show you actually all right here's my light pad this is a really big one this one is a three I think from Galmon I have a video on this and where it came from and I'll have it linked in the eye above what I'm gonna do is I'm just looking at where to place this so that I can press the button. Now I can, I can pretty easily get it so that it's mostly flush. I'll show you what I mean. The, if I put this up against the corner of it, you can still press the button and it's flush with the sides. Another thing I could do is just have it come out just a little bit but I would worry that it would actually pull up off of the um, light desk. So let me go ahead and attach it. Okay, so that is now attached with the double-sided sticky tape. And you can just pop that on and off when you want to turn it on and off. I think that is wonderful. That's going to be a game changer. And I can definitely still press the button even though it's a little bit... You know, the edges here are a little bit thinner than maybe a regular A4 light pad. Great investment. Really, really genius idea. I like that a lot. And then I also got this great long tray. So I like to multi-place a lot and I don't enjoy having to shake my tray all that often. This will allow me to get those long lines of one color, tappy, 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 have really, really long lines of color there, and then I won't have to shake it so often. These also have really tall walls, so compared to even my normal drill tray, you can see here, I've got them flush on the bottom. The sides on the purple tray are much taller, so that's going to be really nice to work with, um, just getting those really, really long lines. And there is a stopper on the end of this one, so you don't have to worry about any of my drills falling out when I'm shaking. So again, that is 3dartrl.com, or you can go to 3dartrl on Etsy, like I did. All right, here is my next purchase another diamond painting related item which is from Randa's Crafty Corner. So you all probably know this company. If you don't know this company, Randa is in the United States and I got two putties and a sticker and a dum-dum. Thank you so much. Um, I've got the cherry blossom scent and the passion fruit scent. These were each six euro and 79 cent. The shipping was actually the most expensive part of this, but that's not Randa's fault. That's just the way that the 
the male is. And I thought that I had Randa's putty before, but I haven't, I, I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to actually dig into the passion fruit because it's summer ish time <laughs> and show you what it's like. So when you open this up, you'll get a little block here. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like bubble gum, like a, yeah, like passion fruit bubble gum. And this is how you're going to load it into your pen. All right. So I got a brand new seven placer or six placer rather. Uh, this is one of the thin ones that comes in some diamond painting kits. I actually have these on my website as well, rachelraycraft.com if you want to uh, have a look. Um, but what you do is you pull back the top layer of this putty and you're going to take your pen and just go along the side, right? Go in at an angle into the side and you're going to pull it away. I'm having trouble holding onto it. Okay. So we've now got just some there in the placer. See it like that. I'm going to use my fingers to push it in. Oh, that's nice and sticky. Oh, I love it. This is exactly what I've been looking for, is some really good putty. There we go. So I've cleaned up the edges using my fingernail, and now it's mostly flat into the placer, and you can multi-place with this. Would you like to see? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my new drill tray. Some diamonds. I'm gonna shaky shaky. Get those nice long lines. Oh yeah. Excellent. Look at that. I didn't put very many in, but that's enough for me right now. And then we are gonna go up in here and I'll show you what this putty will look like with these diamonds. So we've got Go with five. Oh yeah. Do you hear that? That's really, really nice. There's no residue at all. And I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. It's Friday and my neighbors want to be extra. You probably won't see this until Monday, but <laughs> that's okay. You know what? It's all good. Oh my gosh, I really love this putty. I have been wanting to use this for so long. I've been watching quite a few TikTokers and they are obsessed with Randa's. And I, because I live in Europe, the shipping is really high. It's not her fault, but I wanted to save up and get like the two cents that I knew I would really, really love. So thank you so much, Randa. This is amazing. It's excellent. I'm having no problem picking up diamonds. I wouldn't say that it is like the smackiest putty I've ever had, but it certainly is doing the job. And I can't wait to use this in the rest of my diamond painting session today. Because as you know, I'm trying really, really hard <laughs> to finish this painting by the end of May. So wish me luck. So those are our, the putty and the diamond painting tray. Loving both of those. I'm going to go ahead and open the last thing. That was a gift from my mom. So I hope you don't mind. Let's see what's in this box. I am super curious what she would have sent me. Also, you get a, a little sneak peek at what I've been working on lately. Why is it all blurry? Excuse me? I don't know. My camera, <laughs> my camera's acting up for some reason. So we're just going to get in here. I'm not going to even use scissors. What did you send me, mom? <gasps> oh, that's cute. It's a little box. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a little keychain of a heart. This is adorable. And it's like, hang on. It untwists. Oh, 
No way. No way. Thank you, Mom. I wonder, I wonder how much it stores. Hang on, I gotta check. Holy moly, this has 58 and a half gigabytes of space. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Oh, this is so sweet. I love the box, too. I could use that for, like, special jewelry or something. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I didn't even know these things existed. That is adorable. She's so sweet. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a little thumbs up and uh, subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, I will be doing a post review on this very soon. Just you wait. And I will be preparing for the Summer with the Masters event that's being run by Diamonds and Washi and Single and Placing here on YouTube. And I will have a kidding up video for you of that before June 1st. So, so excited. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon. Take care and stay safe. Bye.